What's going on YouTube? My name is iTalk. Here. And in today's video, we have a brand new video. So, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I used to do these top 10 lists a long time ago. I don't really do them much anymore, and honestly, this video right here isn't even a top 10 list. But, I want to go over 10 skins that I think that everyone has basically completely forgotten about. These are just skins I either never see in game or these are just skins that no one really talks about or anything like that. And I'm not talking about rare skins because obviously people know about the rare skins. I'm talking about skins that are just, I would assume some people would have these skins, but I just either never see them in game or no one just ever talks about them. So let's just get right into it. Sub Commander. This skin was given to those that activated their Twitch Prime. And so this was back all the way in March of 2018 so i would assume a majority of you have this skin and sub commander in my opinion is probably one of the worst looking skins in the game the colors don't match up with his blonde hair not i just don't like this skin very much and i don't see really many people even running this skin at all and i feel like this is just kind of one of those skins that has been in people's lockers and they're just not really use that much or no one really like i know people like to favorite their skins a lot i guarantee you this is one of those skins that are just not favorited for people and i kind of feel bad you know like i know skins in the game don't have feelings or anything but it is kind of sad to know that we buy all these skins and sometimes we just don't use them you know what i mean like i know the skin was technically free when you use twitch prime but still i feel like the skin deserves some love regardless of what i think even if i don't really like the skin that much it's still kind of a bummer to see that not many people actually use this skin. Tech Ops. This skin wasn't even released a month ago, and I don't see anybody using this skin. Now, admittedly, I don't really like the back bling that much, but I think the skin itself is actually pretty cool. It's kind of a bummer. I thought this skin was going to be one of the new popular, you know, Fortnite skins that we would be seeing from the item shop, but sadly, no. I don't see a single person running this skin, and honestly, it's not even a bad skin. I think the design on it is really cool. It's very realistic. It's very, you know, SWAT-esque. It's got a really good military feel to it. It's green, so it goes really well with, like, Raptor Satchel. I would even say Last Gasp looks good on this skin. It's just a shame I don't see anyone running it, and I'm wondering, do, did anyone even really buy this skin? Because when I review lockers, I don't see many people with it either, so I don't know, guys. I think it's a really underrated skin, and I think it deserves some more love. Dynamo. Another skin that I thought was actually pretty underrated and pretty good, I don't see anyone running. The skin was actually in the shop not too long ago, about 33 days ago on January 20th, and... It's not out very often, but it's not that it doesn't come back very often. It's more on the fact that people just don't like this skin, it, it seems. And it's kind of a shame because the model is really unique. The, the hair color is amazing. The, the, the skin, like all the, the outfit is really creative and it's just really like it pops out. The colors are really good. I don't know why people don't like the skin. It, it's just I thought this would be another banger of a skin that people would actually like, and it just seems like not many people actually do. So Dynamo, I feel like belongs on this list as a skin that has, honestly, I think has been forgotten. Wild card. Now, I know this skin isn't really classified as rare. It's only been gone for about 160 days. In my opinion, I don't think I would consider that rare. Even in my top 10 rare skins list, I gave it like an honorable mention as a possibly rare skin because it hasn't been back in some time and it it's kind of looming over the fact that we might not see this skin again until the getaway limited time mode comes back. But uh, this skin, I see it sometimes. This is a skin that I do see from time to time, but in terms of a skin that people actively use now, I don't see anyone using this skin. I feel like this skin was just kind of overhyped because of the getaway limited time mode. I remember Clickbaiter saying it was going to be a free reward, even though clearly that was not the case. They would never just give out a skin for free like that. And I like it. It's really good. Yes, it's a reskin John Wick. Yes, it's like how the Jack Gordon skin is kind of reskin, but with a pumpkin on its head. This, it's even less than that. It's just a white outfit instead of black, and it just has a mask on it. A lot, like, you know, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like the skin is actually pretty good. It's white and black, so you can pretty much put anything on it. And it's got a really nice suit on. I don't know. Is it overpriced? Maybe a little bit. 
But I do think that the skin is pretty forgotten and I don't see anyone really running it. And speaking of Jack Gordon, Jack Gordon. Now, I feel like this skin is kind of like a cult hit. And what I mean by that is that the majority of people, I don't think like this skin very much at all. But I do think there is a select few people that has like this cult following for Jack Gordon. It's a really interesting skin. The last time it was seen was on November 1st. It's only been 112 days since its release. And personally, I think the skin is actually pretty creative. It is a Jack's, it is a John Wick clone basically because the suit is the exact same. However, it's a pumpkin head and I think it's actually kind of funny. It just, it just screams troll. You know what I mean? Like with the wild card, it was just a white suit and a mask, right? I feel like the Jack Gordon had a lot more style than the wild card did. And it's even cheaper than Wildcard. I don't know why people don't really like the skin that much. I think it's really funny. The head isn't even that big. I don't even think it gets in the way that much. And honestly, I think it's just kind of forgotten with a majority of the community. Cloudbreaker. The skin was only seen on December 12th, 2018. And man, do people not even remember the skin? Do you guys even remember the Cloudbreaker? Because honestly... I don't think anyone remembers, nor do I think anyone really cares. This kind of goes insane with Wingtip, but I think Wingtip was a lot more loved. Like, I know that there's a select few streamers that actually use the Wingtip skin quite a lot, so I'm not going to say Wingtip is completely forgotten, but Cloudbreaker? I don't see a single person using this skin, and I feel really bad about it. It's a really creative skin for 1200 V-Bucks. I think it's really good, and... There's just no, I don't think anyone even remembers that the skin even exists, honestly. So that's why I think it belongs here on this forgotten skins list. Squad Leader. This skin was from season four. It was like, I believe level 87 in the battle pass. I like this skin a lot. I think this is a really, really good skin. I believe this is the first skin with this specific model. And I think it looks really clean. Again, I don't know why people don't like this skin at all. I, I, I understand it's Battle Pass, so a lot of people don't like running Battle Pass skins because, like I said, I think if you own an item shop skin, you're going to want to use that over the Battle Pass one. But, I mean, come on. I think Squad Leader is a really good skin, and I don't see anyone running it, nor do I think anyone even really remembers this. Really not much else to say here, but I honestly think Squad Leader needs more love as well. Battlehound. Now, this skin is actually pretty often in the shop, so it's not like, oh, it's rare or anything. I've, I've seen a few in-game for sure, but in reality, I feel like this skin was good when it was first out, and then it just kind of faded into non-existence when they removed the back bling and made it a separate back bling, and now it's, like, attached in a weird way. Like, I know a lot of people don't like how it looks like there's magnets on his back. Kind of weird. And I don't like how they did that. I wish they didn't make it like that, but un I understand why they did that. Battlehound, I never see used. And it's kind of a shame, really, because I think the skin looks really creative, and I think it's really good. And it's just kind of one of those skins that I never see anyone use, honestly. So that's why I put it on this list. Paradox. Again, another skin that was just out not too long ago. I feel like this skin is not liked by a lot of people. I mean, the back bling Eternal is not great by any stretch of the imagination, but I think the skin itself is actually really creative. And again, I don't know why people don't like it. Maybe it's the trench coat. Maybe it's just how bizarre it looks. I don't really know. I know a lot of people like lace, myself included. I love the lace skin, but I feel like the Paradox skin is one of those skins that just does not see the light of day in game at all. And I know a lot of people will like the female counterparts over the male counterparts. D d doesn't even matter on the skin. But still, Paradox, I feel like, needs more love. And I feel like that once it comes back to the shop, I hope to see more people get it. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't think people are going to really warm up to the skin anytime soon. And the last skin I have on this list is Hey Man. Again, this is a skin that I feel like... This, if I had to put this list at like a top 10 rating, this would probably be one of my most forgotten skins on this list. I don't see anyone using Hey Man. I don't see anyone talking about Hey Man. It's such a cool skin. I don't understand why people don't like this skin. I don't know why people don't use this skin. And it's just kind of a shame, really. The last time it was seen was over 99 days ago from the time you were seeing this video. And that's a huge shame because I feel like this skin has a lot of potential to being a really good skin. 
It's so creative with this color scheme. I love the smile it has. It's a good skin in my opinion, and I feel like that it deserves more love as well. So that's it for the video, guys. What are some skins that you think are forgotten about, not appreciated enough? I would love to know in the comments, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did, let me know with a like. I won't beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell just to get on my latest uploads. And comment down below, what do you guys think about this list? What are some skins that you think that are unforgotten or just not used enough? I would love to know. Follow me on Twitter at italkfortnite. Join the Discord. If you'd like to use me for support a creator, the code is italkfortnite, and you will be supporting me whenever you buy something from the item shop. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Yeah,